Hey everybody, welcome back. Nobody asked. Why aren't you wearing a bra? I can see your ladies. Nobody asked. See where I'm going with this? Looking for a... Uh, who the Quack. asked you? I hope y'all enjoyed the game. I willfully do not have TV. Haven't had it in over five years. I enjoyed the moon instead tonight. Y'all should give real life a try sometime. Cool story, bro. Let people enjoy their lives however they want to enjoy them. To me, this sounds a little salty that you didn't go to the game. You're not better. You're not better than them. Times co-worker has mentioned she's vegan today. Six times I've asked. Zero. Vegans do love to tell you that they're vegan, don't they? At like really inopportune times, like, are you gonna use the bathroom today? We should probably do that before we uh, get started. Oh, I'm, I'm a vegan. Do vegans not go to the bathroom? 24 years around the sun today. Too old for me, I prefer 16 to 20. Yes, I'm 27. Again, Nobody asked. I like it how some people think that like, she's just posting about her birthday, man. That's not an open invitation to like, date her. It's literally just her birthday. <laughs> this is not a, I'm looking for a man post. This is a, I am celebrating my 24th birthday post. And yet this guy thinks it's about him and his questionable preferences. Not sure what state you're in, buddy, but uh, it's a little young. 16's a little young. Are all McDonald's the same as far as pricing? We do not eat at McDonald's, so I wouldn't know. That's not the question I asked, Christina. I didn't ask if you eat at McDonald's, I asked if the prices are the same. This is just a compilation of like, social media posts that people think are about them, but they're not. Not everything is about you, it's about me. Just me, I'm the main character. Some guy asked me at the gym what I eat and I just said, I don't know, whatever I want, just in moderation, and he goes, oh. I don't eat anything for pleasure. I only eat to fuel my body. Okay, you definitely only asked me so you could say that, but that's cool, psycho. You're correct. He didn't care what you ate. You think that question was to find out things about you? No, no, it wasn't. It was a chance for him to flex. Protein! I only eat protein! Are you free at all this weekend? I'm kind of already seeing someone. That's nice. We still have eight slides to do, though. But why are you so obsessed with me though? OMG, I used to date your boyfriend. Nobody asked. No, they did not. And if you look underneath this post, it's literally all comments from people that think that the question was about them. It's literally, it's literally all of it was nobody asked. Nobody asked. They're all criticizing her body and stuff. Again, nobody, nobody asked. asked. It seems like all of social media is just people that think it's about them. When really, nobody asked. Am I the only one who smells my toilet paper after I wipe? Yeah, I think you might be alone on that. Sometimes I look at the poo, you know, just to see what's happening. Is it a good poo? Is it a bad poo? Just so I can reassess. But I don't smell the toilet paper. I feel like... I feel like you can s smell it without actually putting your face in the particles. Why am I offering advice to this person about poo-poo? I'm an expert on poo-poo. <laughs> Apparently Americans don't have kettles. How do they boil water? Why does no one talk about the fact that depression and anxiety can give you major memory loss? That's literally not relevant at all. Not relevant. And by the way, this is your reminder to subscribe. Also, we have a lot of new subs. Thanks for being here, thanks for subbing. I don't know why you did, but maybe it's my threatening asks to subscribe. 
So if you're a new subscriber, say hello down below. Everybody will say hi. Be nice to them. Be nice. Let's play 8-Ball. Hey, Daniel, I know it's been kind of a hot minute since we talked. I'm just not really sure what to say. I think you should know that I'm actually dating somebody pretty seriously now. I think you're a super great guy, and I wish you the best in all you do. I just wanted to play 8-Ball. <laughs> in all fairness, though, you could have asked someone that isn't your ex to play 8-Ball. I was never into Britney Spears or even attracted to her, but knowing she was popular when I was in high school makes me feel old when I see current pictures of her. She looks so old and run down now. Sir, this is a Wendy's drive through <laughs> Nobody asked. Also, Britney is free! We definitely had a bunch of drinks the other night to celebrate. I'm so happy for her. I know, nobody asked. I just thought I would, I would let you know. Hey. Shh. Hey. Hi. Thanks for liking my pic. You're fit, BTW. Welcome and thanks. I have a boyfriend, sorry. It's kind of strange turn of events. Who thanks someone for liking a pic? <laughs> she thanked him for liking a pic and then proceeded to tell him that she wasn't available. Walk away. I'm a grumpy old man. I was born in August. I have anger issues and I have a serious dislike for stupid people. <laughs> oh, you're born in August, eh? August what? Are you a Leo by chance? No hate to Leos, my best friend's a Leo. <laughs> he's either a Leo or a Virgo, and if he's a Virgo, we do not claim him. How much Reddit karma do you have? 7,809. And what is the most likes you have on a post? 1.1K. I have almost 6K karma. Okay. And I got 8K upvotes on a post. The top of this says, my friend who I haven't talked to in months finally texts me about his karma. Oh, that's bizarre. Oh, that's super. It's like those people that just like openly talk about, like they just say how many followers they have. And you're like, oh, that's, that's cool. Does that make you feel good? You like that? When you're... <clears throat> So sexy. When you're one rotation away from solving the Rubik's Cube. Kind of funny since I'm a speed cuber, my best is 12.43 seconds. You cool, man. You so cool. That's literally not what the post is about. Whoosh. And again, no. nobody asked. <laughs> Kleenex facial tissue, white. Five stars, a mother's struggle. I want to start this off by thanking Kleenex for selling these in 36 packs. I put it on subscription and if they want to start selling a 72 pack, sign me up. I have three reasons for needing this much Kleenex and their names are Liam, Samuel, and Hank. This is how it goes in this house. First, the Kleenex disappears. Then, the toilet paper. Then, they go for fabrics. And you don't want it to get there unless you're ready to invest in a five gallon drum of Febreze. Wait, what? what? What's happening? This used to be a good Christian home, but it's not about moral judgment anymore. I'm way beyond that. I'm in survival mode. If I don't supply absorbent paper products, I'm going to find my dish towels hidden in the basement, stiff as aluminum. <laughs> the other day, I almost cut my hand on a sock. <laughs> I'm sorry to speak so frankly, but with three teenage boys, a woman has got to be practical. The funny part is, they think they're being sneaky with their 45 minute showers and sudden need for privacy. Ugh! As if I'm going to walk in on them journaling. <laughs> they slink around the house like unfixed cats. Why I try to announce my location at all times. Marco! No one needs to ask me to knock anymore. I knock on the walls. <laughs> I practically wear a cowbell. I'm not looking to catch anyone by surprise, believe me. I'm just trying to get through this. The other day my husband was watching me unload groceries and he asked me all sweetness and light, honey, what are you gonna do with all that Kleenex? I about knocked him off his chair. I'm so sorry you went through that. Imagine having the time to write that on Amazon reviews. I thoroughly enjoyed that though. Like even though I didn't ask, I, I thoroughly enjoyed that story, thank you. I have been thinking about this exchange all day. Every seafood restaurant in DC should have a special this week called Squid Pro Quo. Actually, the expression is quid pro quo, not squid. It's Latin. Wow, you are so smart. But you also did not get the joke. Just gonna interject here. Drop some knowledge on ya. Who ordered the rain, lol? It's been downpouring since 6 a.m. It was raining when I went into work yesterday at 7. I've been in isolation since yesterday. I have scabies. <laughs> cool. Very cool. That's a nice thing to put on the internet so someone can screenshot and we can laugh at it. Thank you for sharing. A German girl I wanted to... 
Giggity showed me this video back in 2008. I didn't give about this unfunny clip and I still don't, but it reminds me of her. We did Giggity a year later. It was good. <laughs> cool man, so, so cool. Unrelated, but. <laughs> a Michigan woman received 81 pounds of gifts from a multi-billionaire secret Santa. Michigan woman's secret Santa turns out to be Bill Gates. Wow, I got nothing for Christmas. Found out my husband had taken all the money and bought gift cards, which he sent to all his sex buddies on the internet. Hundreds of dollars and nothing for his wife and our son. Son found them and took pictures. We had no money, no food, and no presents for Christmas. I found out from my son on Christmas morning. That is very unfor unfortunate. I'm very sorry to hear of your story, which no one asked about, but still very sad. One month cigarette free, nine years. Congratulate yourself after two years minimum or be prepared to start the loop again. I'm sorry, can we not celebrate small wins anymore? Are we just gonna have gatekeepers telling us that our small wins don't matter? Fucking cool, man. So cool. You know what? You are so cool. Wow. I wish I was like you. I choked on my fries. You should never eat fries. Very unhealthy food. Gotta keep my muscles, so no thanks, I'll pass. <laughs> That's what you sound like to me. Me. I grew ovaries and they exploded. Such cuteness. That's funny, Matt. I have a son named Matt. He passed. Have a good day. I feel like this happens a lot on Facebook. All Facebook really is is just threads upon threads of people sharing things that nobody asked for. Alrighty guys, that's the end of the video. Uh, do not forget to take out the trash. It's time. Don't let it pile up. It's stinky. I can smell it from here. Subscribe!